It's estimated that 491 million people worldwide aged between 15 and 49 years old have the HSV2 infection, otherwise known as herpes. Most of these people are unaware of their status as they experience no symptoms, making them asymptomatic. When someone is infected with herpes, they may show no symptoms, or their infection could begin to cycle through a series of stages, from the initial infection to the healing of the genital herpes sores. In this video, we're going to go through the five stages of herpes so you can be best prepared. Without further ado, let's get into it. The primary infection is the first outbreak of genital herpes you will experience after you've been infected with the herpes simplex virus. This typically happens around two to three weeks after being infected and is more severe than recurrent outbreak. At first, you may experience symptoms that are synonymous with flu, such as fever, fatigue, joint pain, headaches, body aches, lymph node swelling around the groin, arms or throat, and skin around your genital area may appear red, itchy and inflamed. And you may also feel a burning sensation while urinating. As this stage progresses, it is likely that blisters will develop on the skin around your groin, genitals, anus, upper thighs and buttocks. If scratched, the blisters can seep fluid, resulting in painful sores. Stage two is the latent stage. During this stage, symptoms disappear as the herpes simplex virus travels away from the skin and to the base of the spine into a bundle of nerves. The virus stays dormant until there is a trigger that awakens the virus, progressing it to the radone stage. The herpes simplex virus is still in the body meaning you are still infectious despite having no symptoms. This means that you can still transmit the virus to others if you do not take precautions. Stage three is the prodome stage. This stage involves the herpes simplex virus being triggered, awaking it from its dormant state where it travels up from the spine, up the nerves to the skin layer. Potential triggers that could wake the virus include hormones, weaken immune system, sexual intercourse, stress, vitamin deficiency, surgery, alcohol consumption, or smoking. Around 5% of people infected with genital herpes experience symptoms during the prodome stage of each recurring outbreak. These symptoms include redness, itching, tingling and pain around the genitals, buttocks, upper thighs and anus. This stage can last from a few hours to several days before the virus progresses to the next phase, the blister stage. Once the virus reaches the surface of the skin, it can cause blisters to fall. Herpes blisters appear as small red bumps that fill with liquid. Their appearance can resemble pimples or ingrown hairs, but unlike those, they are contagious. The herpes blisters go through their own individual phases, similar to that of a cold sore. These stages are, red itchy bumps begin to form on the skin around the genitals, as well as the buttocks, groin and upper thighs. The bumps begin to turn into fluid filled blisters. These blisters burst and use a white cloudy fluid. As a result, painful ulcers and sores form in their place. After a duration of time, the sores begin to dry out and scab over, protecting the infected skin. Lastly, it's the healing stage. During this stage, the scabs that have formed on the blisters eventually fall off, leaving red or irritated skin. It is important to protect these areas where blister scabs have fallen off, as the skin will be highly sensitive and may be irritated by tight clothing. Once this stage is complete and the sores have healed completely, the HSV2 infection will become dormant again entering the latent stage again until the trigger causes the virus to awaken. If you've gone through any of these stages, there is nothing to worry about. There are medications and other remedies available to help. When it comes to medication, these are the best to help reduce the frequency of outbreaks or ease symptoms. Here are some treatments that are available. Acyclovir. This is an oral antiviral medication that treats outbreaks by controlling and suppressing the infection. It does this by stopping the virus from multiplying, which also means that the duration of the infection is reduced. Valacyclovir. This is the precursor for acyclovir, meaning that once consumed, this oral medication converts into acyclovir in the body. This allows it to stay in the body longer, requiring less dosing. Valtrex. This treatment is the medically equivalent branded version of valacyclovir. Aside from medication, there are other steps you can take at home to ease the severity and impact symptoms of HSV2 have on your day-to-day -day life. Some of these steps are applying an ice pack wrapped in a flannel to the site of the blisters, urinating whilst pouring water over your genitals, keeping the area of blisters clean by washing with plain or salt water to prevent infection, applying Vaseline to the blister area, but make sure to wash your hands before and after applying, avoiding tight clothing as this can irritate the sores, taking over-the-counter pain relief medications such as paracetamol or ibuprofen. If you're interested in anything mentioned in this video, do check out the links right below that like and subscribe button. Or feel free to check out some of our other content here 
to find out more information about these particular treatments. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.